Tear, Idle Tear is a lyrical poem which forms part of Canto 4 of The Princess. The Princess is a longer poem which deals with women's rights and their higher education. In this long poem, Tennyson has introduced beautiful lyrics at interval. Present lyric is one of the most popular ones. After a day's hard labor, Princess Ida asks one of her maids to sing a song and she sings the present song. Taking it out, this text from the context, uh, for analyzing it as a subjective poetry, we found that Tennyson was inspired to write this song on visiting Tintron Abbey nearby Arthur Hallam. Talking about this lyric, it talks about the past, past memories, past that cannot be reverted back. So it's melancholic poem with tragic undertones. There is sadness, nostalgia, tone of lamentation is there. For comparing the past, uh, it uses very unusual adjectives and similes. The whole poem gives the idea that the past is dear, sweet, deep, wild. But its memories give a lot of pain as well as very, very much pleasure. So this poem is full of contradictions, oxymoron, paradox is there, ambiguity is there which, which gives it a very dramatic power. It lends a richness and a depth to it. Taking its text, tears, idle tears, I know not what they mean, tears from the depth of some divine despair, rise in the heart and gather to the eyes, in looking on the happy autumn fields and thinking of the days that are no more. In this lyric, the speaker is feeling very sad. Something is making him sad. But why he is feeling sad, he can't comprehend it. It feels as if some pressure is burdening her, his heart. Two words, two adjectives are there. Divine, despair and happy autumn fields. Notice the paradox, the contradiction of this comparison. It is despair, but it is divine. These are the autumn fields but they are happy. So these two adjectives, these two phrases set the poem on the flow that the poet is sad, but he can't comprehend, he can't tell us, what he can't himself understand why he is feeling sad. So this is a conflicted and confused state of mind where the mood is heavy, Mood is sad, but the person can't understand why he is feeling so. Second stanza is, fresh as the first beam glittering on a sail that brings our friends up from the underworld, sad as the last which reddens over one that sings with all we love below the verge, so sad, so fresh, the days that are no more. The poet is, or the speaker is analyzing his feelings that these memories are fresh fresh as the first beam on the coming ship the ship that is bringing back the friends but at the same time these feelings these memories are sad sad as if the last beam which is uh, which is on the sail that ship is uh, sinking on the horizon the memories are giving pain and pleasure simultaneously. So sad, so fresh, the days that are no more. Next stanza is, a uh, sad and strange as in dark summer dance, the earliest pipe of half-awakened birds to dying ears, when unto dying eyes, the casement slowly grows a glimmering square. So sad, so strange, the days that are no more. The, one who ha uh, the ones who have studied uh, Gray's allergy, we can notice the four lines, the earliest pipe of half-awakened birds, dying eyes, dying ears, casement, slowly growing to a glimmering square. 
that allergy we can notice the intertextuality here gray's allergies comes to the mind now the poet is saying notice the dark summer dance of the first line of this stanza the summer is there dawn is there but it is dark so the poet wants to stress the speaker wants to stress that he is reveling in the pain uh, the pain of the past and uh, remembering it giving him pleasure because he can he is able to relive it although he knows that he those days can't come back and the company the person whom he is missing or the days that he is missing they can't come back but uh, re remembering it he is living it again in the last stanza of this lyric the poet uh, compares the past to the romantic love dear as remembered kisses after death and sweet as those by hopeless fancy faint own lips that are for others deep as love deep as first love and wild with all regret o oh, death in life that is that are no more look at the adjectives dear sweet deep wild death in life these are intensely pleasurable as pleasurable as the memory of the first love but that first love is for somebody else the poet has lost her for always so it is regretful also it's like death in life the soul of this poem can be noticed can be felt in an old hindi movie song listen to the full song on net and enjoy the melody and feel the same soul the same feelings there same ambience can be felt in chaya vadi a new romantic hindi poet jay shankar prasad ansu written in 1923 24 here the poet is also reveling in pain pain which is separation from the loved one and leads to meditation on the true nature of things so tears idle tears is an elegy on the bygone days life death tears make main theme of this poem